Hello, everyone, and welcome to our week. This week, we're coming to an end. I'm sure you're all excited, and you're all very proud of your success. I am, too. Okay, so we're going to start off the week with the difference between migration and push and pull factors. This week is going to be divided into several parts. We're going to come up with a final project. But first of all, we need to introduce what is meant by migration and why people move from one place to another. What are the push and pull factors? What do I mean by these terms? So our first, uh, after this lesson, after we introduce the definition, you are going to do a very short research identifying push factors, okay? Once you identify push factors, you're going to create a very small uh, poster, okay? And don't forget, leave space on your po poster because our final class for the week is going to be a continuation for pull factors, okay? So discuss what our pull factor is and you need to provide examples of why people uh, would like to migrate towards a country? Why would they want to move, for example, from Jordan to the United States or vice versa? Why would some people want to leave the United States to come to Jordan? Ask yourself the following questions and relate it to the unit of when we discuss the difference between developed and developing countries. Obviously, this takes a huge, this shows a huge part in why people migrate to and away from a place. Okay, I hope you enjoy this week. It's a very simple week as we're coming to an end and prepare yourself. We're almost there for the revision class. All of this are very, they're all interrelated. They all reflect how we can become global citizens.